Did you know that most New Year resolutions fall by the wayside within the first three weeks of the new year? Well, I want to encourage you to practice 15 minutes or less. When I want to implement a new thing into my routine, I want to get it done in 15 minutes or less. So here are some things that you can do in order to improve upon your health so that by the time you get to the end of 2022, you're really happy about the results that you have achieved. Instead of implementing all these quick fix things only to feel like you failed by the end of the year. Number one, 15 minutes or less of exercise a day. Now, when you get into the groove and you start kicking in these endorphins, you're gonna see that you're gonna actually wanna exercise more instead of less. But if you're somebody that's a couch potato right now, 15 minutes or less, do some upper body work, do some lower body work, get out there, take some nature walks, and look at the beautiful scenery outside. Two, make sure that you're well hydrated. Having some water as soon as you wake up in the morning. I like to get in two cups, I squeeze some fresh lemon juice in there, that gets my detoxification channels going. Before I go to work, I wanna get two glasses of water in. While I'm at work, sometimes I can't get a lot of water in, so I do maybe like a two to four cup, after work, I'll get in another two to four, so this way I get a half a gallon a day in. People that have chronic headaches, muscle tension, fatigue, sad thoughts, you are dehydrated. So just picking up that hydration during the day, gradually adding it in so you're not peeing every five seconds in the beginning, not only will you feel better, but your body's gonna be functioning a lot better. Food, that's another one. I'm a strong advocate for organic whole foods to put into your body to use as fuel to repair, regenerate, and grow. You are what you eat. Get in good, wholesome foods. A lot of water containing foods like your fruits and your vegetables are the way to go. Less of the other stuff. The next thing I wanna talk about is stretching regularly. Couple stretches in the morning, couple at night, balance out your muscles before you start your day, relax them at your end of your day. This is going to help you keep your immune system and your nervous system strong, along with your regular chiropractic care to make sure that you are in proper body alignment. Maybe we're not ergonomically correct at our workstations or our home workstations, so I encourage you to look back at the previous videos on that and look back on the previous stretching videos. Next thing, what are you watching? What are you listening to? What are you reading? If you're reading a lot of negative stuff, it's gonna take a toll on your thoughts and on your overall well-being. One of the things that I enjoy reading is Experience Life Magazine. I think they do a wonderful job in uh, total body wellness. So it's a great magazine. There's no pharmaceutical ads. Um, we have this magazine throughout our office, so I encourage you to look at it. And it has a lot of great information on exercising, on foods, and on positive mental attitude. So check that magazine out. And the last thing is really enjoying each other's company. A lot of you have been in isolation. You're nervous about being around other people. If that's you, create activities where you can keep a comfortable distance, but also have your fellowship. Because being in isolation creates sadness and fatigue and loss of passion. So these are my quick and easy things to do. You don't have to take a lot of time in order to create positive action steps. Small consistent action steps will reap great rewards. Remember, health is a choice. Choose to be alive and well. Happy New Year, everyone.